Mungu barikiwa. Mungu barikiwa. Mungu barikiwa. Mungu
wale ambao wameogopa kujitazilisha Hallelujah. Amen. Bana mungu yuko. 
because God is there. Na ako tayari kuingilia hiyo hali. And he is ready to intervene in that situation. Bwana praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, naomba niende kwa upole. Uh, pray to go slowly. Nitaenda kwa upole. I just go slow kwa upole very slow but nikipewa ruhusa when if I give the information nikipewa ruhusa by the holy spirit na roho mtakatifu to go quick as possible when and be your son i will try my best nitajaribu bwana pray sifa amen i and because the message that i want to pray sababu ujumbe ninao nataka kuleta Amen. Amen. It's about rescue. Ni kuhusu rescue. Of kolewa. Stano actually the one if I can preach in my mother tongue. Stano yali niuliza kama ninaweza ubiri kwa lugha ya mama. In fact I like this message in my mother tongue. Hata ameandika huo ujumbe kwa lugha ya I like this message. Amen. Amen. In my mother tongue. But uh, if I meet Kiswahili and Kizungu, it just sound like a speak government. I can you care for Kizungu and Kiswahili and I part in the other yaki. Amen. So the teacher in the morning was teaching us about is never too late. Mwalimu wa asubuhi amefunza kuhusu hachelewi but me I want to preach about rescue. Nani nataka kuhubiri kuhusu kuokolewa because rescue come in a stretch. Kwa sababu kuokolewa huja katika hali that you are see is fully fully. Kwa maana unaona imechelewa kwako. Praise the living God. Bwana asifiwe. Rescue is a very is a very strong word of Arabic. Rescue ni jina lenye nguvu kutoka kwa Waibrania. It paint the picture of an individual. Ina leta picha ya mtu binafsi who is helpless ambaye hana msaada and cannot deliver himself. Amnaezi kujikomboa. Amen. Amen. So that's where the risk the one risk in that. Hapo ndipo jina kuokolewa inakujia the rest of it in because you are in another situation kukombolewa kunakuja kwa sababu uko kwa hali fulani you are in a situation where you can't help yourself uko kwa hali ambapo hauwezi kusaidia mwenyewe amen amen yani you find yourself unajipata you have to be yourself how if you look ukitazama what you are going through yale unayopitia you are helpless unajipata hauna msaada maybe you are seeing there's no way ahead unaona hakuna njia you expect someone to come in unatarajia mtu aje so that can help you that he can akusaidie kwa hiyo hali Praise the living God. You are living in a, in a, in a hard condition. Unaishi kwa maisha hali ngumu sana. If you can look around, ukitazama, no one is near. Hakuna mtu wa karibu. Amen. Amen. So when you cry for help, unapomlilia mtaa, Jesus come in. Yesu anaingia. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have different situation in the life. Tuna hali tofauti katika maisha. Amen. Amen. Let me start with the anomaly. Wacha nianze na ile ya kawaida. There's a you may find yourself in a financial situation. Unaweza jipata huko katika hali ya kifedha. I had people say money is the second world. Nilisikia watu wakisema kwamba pesa ni Mungu wa pili. Without money you can't move on. Bila pesa hauwezi endelea. Even the work hata katika mipango yako cannot continue. 
Because there is no money. So you will find yourself in a situation whereby you don't have fire. Unaweza jipata katika maisha yako mahali hauna fedha. Brother living God. You have nothing to eat. Hauna cha kukula because you don't have money. Kwa sababu huna pesa. You have nothing to pay for the rent. Hauna kitu cha kulipa kodi because you don't have money. Because hauna pesa. Brother living God. Bwana sisi you can't even pay for the school fee. Hauwezi lipa hata karo ya shule. Because you don't have money. Hallelujah. So you find yourself in a difficult situation. You are jobless. Hallelujah. You are jobless. If you try to call anyone, no one is answering your call. So you find yourself in a situation of poverty. Hallelujah. One How many have gone through that? Amen. Amen. So I want to tell you something. In the Bible. Katika Biblia. There is a man called Obed Edom. Kuna wanaume anaitwa Obed Edom. Hallelujah. Amen. Is in the Bible. Ako katika Biblia. This man, who you has nothing at home. Hana kitu nyumbani. Amen. Amen. He has nothing. Hana kitu. Absolutely nothing. Kitu hana. Even the king himself no. Hata yeye mwenyewe anajua. No, even the king hata mfalme mwenyewe anajua. Those who believe Edom has nothing. Anajua Obed Edom hana kitu chochote. Home is full of poverty. Nyumba yake imejaa umaskini. Nothing good in the house. Hakuna kitu kizuri nyumbani. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Even the king hata mfalme David David amejua hana kitu. He knows of the dog has nothing. Mfalme alijua to play dog ni mfukara. He knew that obey the dog is full is flourishing in poverty. Na hana chochote ya kutegemea. And has nothing to depend on. But I want to tell you something. Ninataka nikwambie kitu. Wakati wana wa Israel, the moment children of Israel, walikuwa na enda kuleta sanduku la dhana. Now going to bring the ark of covenant. I want to tell you how Obed was blessed. Ninataka kukwambia jinsi Obed Edom alibariki. From the poverty to the rich. Kutoka kwa umasikini hadi kwa utajiri. When Israel were going to when Israel were escorting the ark, wakati wana Israeli walipo wana sidikiza. There is a man there called Uzza. Kulikuwa na manaume alikuwa na ito Uzza. Hallelujah. Wow. He tried to he tried to help the ark. Ali jaribu kushikilia saluku la gani? Wana persifa. Amen. Na hapo kwa hapo ndipo alikufa. And there he died. Ali alikuwa na jaribu kuokoa saluku la gani? The moment he was trying to save the Ark of Covenant. And when David saw that, the, the Ark of Covenant has killed Uza. I want you to know this. The Ark of Covenant was being taken to the Ark of Covenant was being taken to the palace. The moment the soldiers were bringing the Ark of Covenant, it was being directed to the palace. In the moment David the king saw that Uzzah has died because of touching the Ark of Covenant, the king David says, Na mfalme akasema, no, I don't need that act to be seen. Kwa taji hili sanduku la agano tena. Take him to the mfukara hoi. Chukua upeleke kwa huyo maskini. Anisema chukua yu sanduku upeleke kwa mfukara. Take that act of covenant to open the door. To his mind, the king. Kwa akili zake mfalme. He know this act may kill the whole family. Anijua hii agano inaweza kuwa familia nzima. And it is better to go from the poverty die. Ni heri iende kwa yule maskini. So that can be 
Ili ikaue familia ya Obededo But when the other arrived in Obededo home lakini sanduku la gano lipofika kwa obedele ili kiuka na kuwa baraka katika obedele na obedele wa malibarikiwa agano sanduku la gano liliokoa maisha ya obedele and it changed them the family of a better to richness hallelujah amen ile hayo maskini na ufukara iliisha kwa nyumba ya obededo the poverty and everything died in that house sababu la because of the act of government yule kwa yuko that same that house whether you are in a financial problem hata kama uko katika hali tata ya kifedha i want to tell you something ninataka kukwambia kitu God can change my life. We are not. It is never too late. God can come and rescue you. Amen. 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 The king was thinking this perfect guy is going to and it is true even in your family some sees you have nothing they have nothing that they can ask you those bad things a big tone in your house. Hallelujah. Amen. Yaani wanakutusi kulingana na ufukara unapitia. Accuse you considering the situation you are in. Lakini mimi nakwambia mkutusi inaweza kuwa baraka kwa maisha yako. And I'm telling you that abuse is going to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. Madharau yao inaweza kuwa baraka kwa maisha yako. They are reproach can be a blessing to your life. Bwana pesa. Amen. Vile wanakudharau inaweza badilisha kuwa baraka the way they despise you it can turn and to be a don't bother what they are saying usiangalie yale wanayo say because this are first thing because mungu hallelujah even if they are talking yes brother they are god has not yet they are the one talking about your father and when you are this you will not pass they are one talking about you that you don't have to change and when Jesus says they will be amazed tomorrow when they meet you do not despise a poor man again if they meet his in church tomorrow he can surprise you kwa sababu haijachelewa Yesu yuko pale kusaidia haleluya amen na matusi inaweza kuwa baraka and the pieces can turn to be a blessing ndio bwana Yesu makofu kwa Mungu nimesema siendi kwa I say them just going so slowly even if you're going through a situation in your finances even, uh, even the clothes you bought they have already faded away things that you bought years ago they are now in a tattered situation even the cups you bought they are broken all of them mungu then is gone they are too late hand ya chelewa anaweza kuja katika kio na badilishe maisha ya automatically haraka kabisa hata adui anaweza kupigia sauti haijulikani kwamba yuko 
You can get yourself in a hardship situation. You have some battles around you. Amen. Amen. You are trying one level of rest. But it can't happen for you. I want to tell you one thing. There is God of Israel. Who said the king of Israel is the Lord of Israel. From the hand of King Pharaoh. He touched him seven times. He touched him seven times. He touched him seven times. From the hardship you are going in. What are you saying? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can someone read for me the book of Psalms, chapter one, verse one? Zaburi, Zaburi na moja, mstari wa kwanza. Psalms, chapter one, from verse one. Hallelujah. You found yourself in a very hard situation. Hallelujah. Amen. You've tried all your best. But it is not working. Amen. Amen. Life has become so hard. Some are on hunger strike. Amen. Amen. Even some yesterday they were chased out of their house. Amen. Some of their children are still at home because they don't have that school fee. But in that time, you are born. But in that time, you are born. Don't take it as something ordinary. Amen? Amen. Don't take it as an ordinary thing. Some are fond of living in that situation. They don't want to get out of it. Some. Amen? Amen. But I'm telling you, there is God who can save you from that situation. It is never to you. Because Jesus is still there in Cambridge. Amen. 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 Hata walipo karibia Yerusalemu na kufika Bethfagi katika mlima wa mzeituni ndipo Yesu alipotuma wanafunzi wawili akiwaambia endeni mpaka kijijini kile kinachowakabili na mara mtaona punda amefungwa na wanapunda pamoja naye wafungueni mnilete na kama mtu akiwaambia neno semeni bwana anawahitaji 
na mara huyo atawapeleka amen bwana persifa amen when jesus was about to reach the jerusalem yesu alipo anakaribia yerusalemu hallelujah amen he sent his two disciples aliwatuma wanafunzi wake wawili wale wanakwenda kwa darasa who are they those who are in class who are those two disciples hawa na kuanga darasani ni nani hapo Peter na Yohana nipige bakofi hapo just in for me bwana persifa praise the lord When Jesus was approaching Jerusalem, the Bible says he sent his two disciples. He sent John and Peter. And then he called them. Go. Utapata wanafunda amefungwa. You will get a donkey. Hallelujah. Amen. And then he mukamfungulie. Go and untie him. Hallelujah. Amen. Ili muleke kwangu so that you bring it to me. Yaani mwanafunda amefungwa. The donkey being tied. Na Yesu anasema aende waende wamfungulie and Jesus say go and untie him yule mtu amefungua ni yule hana uhuru the person who is tied is a person who has no liberty bwana pe sifa amen yani akupa kifungo na hana uhuru ya kutembea he is tied and has no freedom of movement hana uhuru ya kuzungumza na wengine he has no freedom of He has no freedom of moving to He has no freedom of receiving whatever he wants. He is in Praise the Lord. He is yoked. And the one who is yoked has no freedom. He lives on a massive one bwana amen hallelujah amen hallelujah bwana persifa pia bwana yesu makofi msema hapo ni wengine kwa baadaye bwana persifa wakati yesu alikuwa anatuma hao watumishi wawili aliona mbele akaona mwanapunda amefungwa ndipo yesu akatazama pedo na yohana katikati ya watumishi kumi na wawili akamwambia Petro na Yohana endeni kule mbele kuna yeye wanapunda amefungwa bwana persifa na wakati walifika pale kabla wajaenda Yesu tena anasema endeni mpanufungue yani mwanapunda anaenda kukombolewa katika kifungo bwana persifa anaenda kufunguliwa amen kwa hali ya kifungu bwana persifa sasa kabla Yesu ajaenda msalabani alikuwa anahitaji kufungua mtu bwana persifa kabla mwana Yesu Yesu ajaenda pale msalabani alikuwa anataka kufungua yule alifungua bwana persifa maana maisha inaweza fanya unaishi kwa maisha ya kufungwa huwezi kusoma mbele huwezi kaendelea kwa maisha maana unaishi maisha ya kufungwa lakini Yesu anasema Yohana na Petro endeni mkafungue huyo na mnilete hapa maana nataka kumweka uhuru haleluya kama yeye akiwauliza mwambie mimi ndo namuita sasa huyu peona yule amefunga ama yule anamweka huru bwana persifa yule amefunga ama yule anamweka huru 
Bwana apende sifa. Bwana Bwana alikuwa amefungwa awezi akaenda kukunywa maji kama anahitaji maji. Akokuwa maisha pale aweza ka enda kukunywa maji mtoni kama anahitaji maji. Itabidi afe njaa na kiru maana amefungwa. Lakini Yesu anasema endeni mkamfungue na mnelete Unawatumishi pia 
ya wa kulifu haleluya maana la kwenye haki ya kukula kwa madhabahu inamaanisha wewe umefungwa pale chini ndio maana hata pesa yako iwezi kukusaidia maana ulipi kwa madhabahu unahitaji kukombolea tele wa neva unahitaji kukombolea Bwana pe sifa. Unahitaji kukombolewa katika yohati. Bwana pe sifa. Ila unahitaji kukombolewa. I'm telling you the truth. Ili church iweze kupeana msaada kwa ofanidi. Iweze ikachangia mtani nyumba. Iweze ikanongea mchungaji hata mpate ya kukula. Hiyo kanisa haina afya. Na washirika walio ishi kulani kwanza wakafanikiwa. Na kufanikiwa lazima wakuwe mstari wa mbele ya kutumikia Mungu ndipo kanisa pate nafasi ya kutumia Mungu kama kanisa. So the problem begins with us. Tell your neighbor we are the problem. Na Yesu anasema Yohana enda ukafungua huyo mwanakuna ili mlete hapa akue huru ya kunitumikia na mali zake na fedha zake na haleluya Don't think about my account if the church can not give you one offer sir yes usitarajie kunyanya nyumba nyumbani kama mkuu aweza kukula mkali kutoka kwa na pesa sir the business cannot expand kama madabao mali unahudumia iweze kasaidia hata mtoto mmoja kijana. Kwa hivyo tumeishi kwa maha, kwa hali ya kufungwa kifedha na kwa kutumikia Mungu. Leo nakwambia kabla Yesu ajaenda msalabani, alisema enda pale na ufungue wewe mwana ponga ili awe huru na kunitumikia na kunipeka mimi mwenyewe. Haleluya. Yesu anakuitaji ili ukuje kumtumikia. Haleluya. Umtumikie na maisha yako na mali yako yote. Bwana pesa. Amen. Kwa hivyo hata kama unapiga hali ya kufeda. Amen. Kwa hivyo sikiele. Jesus
Amen. Many of us are doing business. Amen. Many of us are doing business. But the business cannot be grow. Every now and then you start your business. Every now and then you start your business. The problem is collapsed. The chocolate one, you start again. Because the business is lacking. Hallelujah. You eat all the profit. Unakula <laughs> faida yote. Amen. You know if we are the people who start eating even the business. Unajua kuna watu ambao hata wanaanza kula biashara yenyewe. Before it reaches at the point of profit kabla ya kutoa kutoa hata faida. Hallelujah. And the body is collapsed. Na kesho biashara inaanguka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Biashara yako imefungwa. Even if your business has been closed down, Hallelujah. Amen. Your business has been closed down; it cannot grow. You are trying to raise it up, but it's going down. You are trying to do everything, but the business cannot move. To the point that some go to the weak, weak. so that they can get a means of doing the business. <laughs> it means that your business is under bondage. And it needs to be set free. <laughs> By the time that the business is set free, even if you are selling with your neighbor, he is using some amazing from there. The customers will come to you. Yes, I reckon the business will remain there. 
When others are going up, you are going to make down. When other people are giving this way, you will not be able to give this one. And you will not say that God is our God. You will not say that.
when I got the salvation. Amen. The first thing he did was this a painting. He was being taught. Hallelujah. And he He was just a helper. Hallelujah. What a person. Amen. From the Gashi River, especially in Kapoor food. Amen. He became the food now. Hallelujah. From a Gashi River, a big pay 300 shillings. You are still a sick when you want to pay a shilling. Every day, I'm in 300 shillings. I'm in 300 shillings. He remembers when he came back in the evening. And the servant of God could come in the house. And as you have come back, we make some team for us to take this. Every day he was coming. Until one day he told me that I am coming there so that I can take that tea so that it can become a good woman. You start getting one thousand. Hallelujah. And after the time in your country, I started living like a country. Hallelujah. And from there, I have been now. Hallelujah. You must move on. You must move on. So in life, you must move on. You enjoy you are very selfish. You become Mr. Mia Sina. Always complain that you don't have anything. No, you are not going to do it. Will you become Mr. Mayo and Mrs. Mayo? Hey, you become a receiver. Give me, give me. Yeah. Give me. 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 Give you must grow. No, you must grow. You must grow. Economically. You must grow economically. Hallelujah. If you came with slippers, tomorrow you come with some good shoes. Amen. I eat. I eat. Somebody's life must move. And you see a person making the same. It means that if we are perishing with that person, he is still under bondage. If poverty, borrowing, and complaining that you don't have, maybe come your friend. Today, as John, maybe come your friend and prove it. I, as Apostle John, yes, I'm in it. Jesus has sent me so that I can set you free. So come back to the poverty. Even if you have stayed for long, even if you have stayed for long. So that you can get away from God. And you start serving the Lord. You start giving Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What kind of fitting you want? You stop rumor mongering. What will I put up on the Amen. Pesa 
mimi kwa kanisa kwa mimi kwa kanisa you see fight why people are giving money the church and they must get come in let me borrow from the grand mess you part of it wala bwana hallelujah hallelujah amen yani watena na fitina za watu you stop inciting people wala kupiga fitina wakati tunataka kufanya kazi They are fighting you when you want to serve God. They prevent you from serving God. They tell you don't have money. They tell you today. But they have been telling you. If you feel that you still are not able. And that is what you do. You are not persuading me today as a person. You are not persuading me today as a person. Jesus can open it again. 
other people they were tied when they came to Nairobi. They cannot go back home. They are just here in the church. We start all together in the church. Yet they stay in Nairobi. They live in Nairobi. The way they came to Nairobi. And they entered in Nairobi. They became sons of Nairobi. They lived in Nairobi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their lives have remained in Nairobi. They have even forgotten to go back home. They are under bondage here. Their lives are good. We have money. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. They have stayed and lived in Nairobi. They have gotten used to the life of Nairobi. They have gotten home. They, they wear very nice. They wear nice clothes. They have money. They are blessed with cars. Hallelujah. They stay in a good house. They, they, when others stay in slums, Hallelujah. Some just they live around. But they don't go home. In the church, they come very early. They never miss the church. They never miss the church. Today you shall be set free. And I will tell you about me. Hallelujah. 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 They don't go back home. Their parents have tried to beseech them. They don't go. Now is the truth. And they cannot go. Man are because they are under bondage. They are those spirits that come from home. They have risen in their life. They have taken control of their they have a life to them that life in Nairobi is the best. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now he has come there. Today I tell you. Well, I Hallelujah. Well, you must be set free. And go back. Nairobi is not a place to live. You even go home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They make a home, a house at home. They make a house at home. Hallelujah. You shall make you, you shall put shame on us. Uh, apostle, if you ask questions, what are you preaching to this one? He does not even have a house. We teach him that you feel Tell your neighbor you must have a house. Amen. Even the, 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 the wife is trying to beseech you, take me home. And then people come to challenge the wife. We must go this December. When the December reaches, they will fall to, to Easter. <laughs> we shall go here. <laughs> the person is the other bondage that never misses. <laughs> there I said you. Yes, Jesus is ready. <laughs> I set you free from that situation. <laughs> so that you can be. A... Hallelujah. Yes. Person is earning. But there's nothing you can tell you as among the things your mother has. Most one of the 
Yani katika zile kuki zisabiwa hata ya moja. Ifuwa account the chicken yours is not. Na unapata pesa hapo unaitwa early money in my room. Umenaza. You are looking good. Unataka kukutana na wewe unaona wewe ni wako. Someone makes you say that. Hata kukirudi nyumbani kuanza. If we go to home you don't have. Leo nakuambia lazima ukoe wewe. Na urudi nyumbani ukacheza na chango home. Hata kama wakamba wanakatia ile the rich clubs. Wale pika darasao. They have opposed everything. Baka wakashema. As they have declared, you not go back home. Today we are putting the the Yo, I'm telling you, the power the guy of Jesus. That will break every bond. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is one old woman that at home that you gave money and spat some saliva on it and say that you get lost in Nairobi and you are here today, even the prophet, one of the that are lasting. Hallelujah. There is an old woman you gave money. Is she the one putting you down? You cannot go back home. Today I'm saying to you, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? The Son of God. It has power to destroy every every that has been put by everything that has been Now we are ruling you, buddy. Let me not be a yes. Today, I tell you that Jesus will come from God. He will set you free. Hallelujah. And I'm expecting a testimony. So that the, the leader has gotten used to that. That they don't have no need of a wife. I cannot marry. They have stayed that way that they have gotten used to it. They think they are well. And they say Jesus. And even Jesus asked the woman, who is it? Who is your husband? That was the first question. He has lived in that situation. Staying alone. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid to do that. I'm afraid to do. They are gotten used to the bondage. And I can't tell why you are saying that. You really want to play games. Have you ever seen the thieves? We are going to use them to the change. <laughs> you, you look like that person. <laughs> Ask them, get married. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you need to get married. <laughs> no, I don't need this. Watch them. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. 
Yeah. 
Praise Jesus. Takutanatisha. There is Jesus who can save a woman. Even this a woman, even if a woman is going through through troubles, it's only commission. There is nothing good in her life. There is nothing good in her life. Even if she sits in the house and there's no one to talk to, she can hold herself. If say, I will not say wasting things. This thing I'm getting in my heart. I was not expecting it. She is when she is in her arms, when she is in her house, she looks everywhere. She says there's nothing good. She is just sharing tears. Praise Jesus. 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 Praise Jesus.
Mungu. Wewe ni great God. Great things are still work around. This is house of prayer. This is the house of prayer. And you have freedom to pray. Ina kuna room of prayer. You can just walk it well. Una weza sembea ni you can need there as well. Ina weza pinga mabati ni you can walk wherever you want. Una weza weza una kwenda. You can even talk to the world. Una weza kwenda huko. Una weza touch the world. Na una rusa rusa. Na una nenda kwa Mungu. Na una even say I. Kwa sababu ya nenda kwa Mungu. Na una even speak to God. Na una even say I. Kwa hiyo una huyu katika hii nyumba ya kuoni everybody what is it here kona wewe unachukua sababu unakubalia huyu sindo akubatia huyu akisema kuongea na kwa baba na neno cha Lord na kuita jina la Mungu na kwa baba na neno cha Lord kuita jina la Mungu na yuko tayari na yuko tayari kwa kwamba
kuwa na uhuru wowote wa kuishi kama wanadamu wengine na siku ya leo lazima ni kaende mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu ili kafunguliwe maana Bwana haja na wewe tunaye mmoja mmoja tu ambaye anaenda omba naye mtu wasaki wa tuweza kuomba nao tunaye mmoja amen kama hakuna mmoja tunaye ndipende unaishi maisha kumangana bado unaye mwingine unaye mwingine kama hakuna tunaomba na wewe tu prayer to worship usikuwe na ile eh tabia kwamba ijili ijelekea kuna taroka mnaenda na tuachie madhabahu hata sisi wanahisi njaa hata sisi huwa na feel ilikuwa kuna feel lakini tukue kwa kweli tunajua ibada maana sio sisi wenyewe tunajitakia kwa kwa ibada ni Mungu amejituma kwa hii kazi na hii kazi ya mwenyewe bwana asikue sana mahali kwenye kuandikwa kazi ukileta mgogoro wote mapema mshahara wao unanyanganywa na hata usipotuka unakutwa lakini kwa ibada Mwenyezi wangu mnatoka na mnatuachia ibada na kuna kitu kinafanyika kwa hiyo eh wacha usiyatuka eh, ila ila ile masomo la kitu uendeshe neema ya ajali ya mbinguni ikaingia kanisani bwana asifiwe sana amen wastahili ewe bwana kuimbe wote wastahili ewe bwana
उसे मैं बोल के तो जाता छोटी चुपके के जाने के तो Thank <laughs> you. 
Lord of the Lord. We preach in Jesus' name, we pray. 